have been talking about this uh, this shooting in Texas. I'm going to give you a little fact that you probably even never heard of before. Some of you might be familiar with this. But did you not know that there's only one gun store in Mexico? And Mexico's murder rate is six times that of America. I want to repeat that. There is one, uno, one gun store in all of Mexico. And the murder rate in Mexico is six times higher than America. Now, we could argue by looking at Mexico that gun control is more deadly than allowing citizens to own guns. The left will tell you that Mexico is the reason it's so dangerous is because America's guns are flooding in. Now, this is the same argument that that little goon from Chicago, Mayor Heavyfoot, this is the same argument that she makes. This is the same argument that that crazy governor of uh of uh, New York makes up. Some people are coming in from other gun-free states to come in your state to commit a murder. Well, couldn't they just commit a murder in their own damn state? They don't understand that their argument is defeating their argument. Because if you're saying the only reason that folks leave their uh, gun-free state to come in your state to commit a crime, you're actually saying that they're coming to kill people who don't have guns. And you want us not to have guns. You see how you can use their law? Every time I hear a liberal argue, argument, I love their arguments. Because I like to just dissect their arguments, crack that thing open, and throw it back in their face. So just say for argument's sake that they're saying that the reason Mexico's violence is so high is because of gun-free America. Well, I got first question I'd like to ask you is, if that's the case, are you saying the reason that the people get these gun-free gu uh, these in this gun-free America and take their guns back to Mexico is because they know damn well the citizens over there are not armed? Seems like what you're saying to me. So why is it that the left has still did not do a real investigation on the Fast and the Furious? Since you're saying we're polluting Mexico with guns, my next question is, why was he, Why aren't you still upset with Barack Obama, Eric Holder, who was allowing guns to be walked across to the notorious drug cartel of Mexico? Oh, I'm waiting for an answer. See, I got answers for days for liberals. Whenever they throw one thing, I got five more questions I can hit them with. Since you're saying, just say, let's argue that <clears throat> you're right. It's, it's America's fault that all these guns are in Mexico. What do you think about the Fast and the Furious when Barack Obama was the president, his ATF, along with Eric Holder of the DOJ, were willfully allowing guns to be walked across over into Mexico. Not only our Border Patrol was killed, but a whole bunch of more people died because of Barack Obama. Never got an investigation. Eric Holder was going to investigate Eric Holder, and we found out that Eric Holder said that Eric Holder was innocent. He, he literally... Uh, lied under oath Eric Holder did. Barack Obama used executive privilege to make sure we couldn't investigate it anymore. Donald Trump could have opened that back up. I don't understand why Republicans are so soft on these people. Once I know you're trying to fight me with brass knuckles and then you want me to put on gloves, it's not going to work that way. You want to have a street fight, now we're going to have a street fight. So answer my question. If, if your argument is true, just say it's true. See, whatever argument they make, I already have five more waiting on them. Because whatever the toughest question a liberal can ask me, I already asked myself that question. So you say Mexico. Come on, you go look this up. It's a well-known fact. Mexico has one gun store. But all the liberal websites are blaming this on the guns flooding over to Mexico from America. Well, what do you think about Barack Obama and Eric Holder allowing the guns to go over there? We should still be investigating that. No, because it's all BS. If I'm a criminal and I know you don't have a gun, it's easier for me to rob you. So you, so you got to think like a criminal sometimes. If I'm a criminal, am I going to go somewhere where a bunch of people got guns like this jackass did in this school? Or am I going to go where there's a bunch of soft targets where I can easily go in there and just spray bullets and there's no resistance because nobody has a gun? 
Put your little sign in front of your yard and say, this is a gun-free house. Thank you. If I'm a thief, I'm robbing you. I'm going to wake you go to sleep. I'm kicking the door in, pistol whipping everybody in the house, robbing you, taking you to the bank, making you withdraw money. I'm just saying, you got to think like a criminal. They're telling you that we want you to be soft target. We want to make it easy for the criminals. In Mexico, this one gun store, and by the way, it, it looks like Fort Knox almost because they got like military uh, guarding this one gun store. Only 38 firearms are purchased on an average from this particular gun store. But they say 580 weapons are smuggled into Mexico from the U.S. And so, just like, I guess, if, if you're saying that we're, we're allowing the guns to get over there, why, why is Mexico allowing the illegal drugs and the illegal aliens to come over to our country? Do you know that Mexico actually sued the gun manufacturers because they say it's the reason their country is so violent is because of the American manufacturer's gun? Well, let's turn around and sue Mexico for all the illegal drugs and illegal aliens who come over here and cost us billions of dollars then. It's a joke. Everything about uh, our country has become a joke because people got to be politically correct. Let me, I'm going to rest assure you on this one right here. I'm never being politically correct. I hate people who try to be politically correct when they know it's not factual. I don't care about hurting your feelings. I don't care if you get irritated. It's a fact. Mexico has allowed all these illegal drugs and everything else. The reason they're violent over there is because, number one, the citizens don't have uh, any guns. That's just number one. Number two is the whole damn government is corrupt, just like every government is corrupt. Oh, I'm not saying our government is not corrupt. But we do have some laws in the Constitution that's tried to protect us a little bit for years. But we've done away with that, really, technically speaking. Mexico has very strict gun laws, yet murder is rampant in Mexico. Now, what other countries do the left want us to be like with tough gun laws? I don't know if you notice in that, Somalia. Who's from Somalia? Omar is from Somalia. Did you know it's illegal for citizens to own guns in Somalia? I'm sure that stopped the violence in Somalia, right? Guess what other country don't allow you to own a gun? North Korea. Now, that's a, that's a country we want to try to mimic, North Korea. So we want, to be, we, we want to be like Somalia and North Korea. Those are model countries that we like to follow behind, taking your guns. Also, you have Cambodia. Now, if you remember, there was a Cambodian genocide. Some of you may have forgot about it. I believe like 3 million people were killed by the Communist Party led by, I think it was Cameroon or something like that. 3 million people. Did the guns kill them? No, the damn government killed them. Because the most dangerous entity in the world is the damn government. You look at every government. I don't care if it's Adolf Hitler's government in Germany. I don't care if it's Joseph Stalin, our government, Cambodia, China. They kill more people, the damn government, not the guns. Why don't we ban our governments then? Since we want to ban some, let's ban all governments. Because in the history of the world, nobody has killed more people than governments. That's a fact. Now, you know what other country? This country right here, actually, I think they invented gunpowder. But it's illegal for citizens to have uh, ammunition, guns, or gunpowder in this particular country. Now, the reason they're not going to say anything, because all of our politicians are in bed with this particular country, is the Republic of China. That's right. Civilians are not allowed to carry guns in China. We want to be like China. So they said there's only three circumstances in China where you can carry a gun. Got to be in the army. That's the People's Liberation Army, PLA, or the People's Armed Police Force, PAPF, and the militia. Also, the other people who can carry guns is if you got a bodyguard, you can pay for a bodyguard or an escort. Other than that, just take your shots. Uh-uh, just, just take, a, take your eight or nine to the body. Use your body as a shield. The only time a civilian can even uh, hold a gun is during shooting competition in a stadium or if they're a hunter or a herdsman or they work with wildlife. That's in China. And these dumb, stupid liberals are telling us that the guns are the problem. Well, I, I, I just named four different countries right there. So why is it that the crime is not better in these particular countries? You know why? Because it doesn't stop a damn thing. Taking your guns, I like this scenario again. If I know, I like to use Michael Moore because he's a disgusting, fat slob. Let's say Stacey Abrams and Michael Moore. Let's use those two fat asses. 
Uh, Stacey Abrams and Michael Moore. Michael, Michael Moore is one of the disgusting looking hum, human beings I've ever seen. I just want to throw up when I look at him. If I was eating, I could not even eat in the presence of Michael Moore. He just looked disgusting. He looked like his breath stinks. He looked like he doesn't bathe or wash his hair. And he wants to be a gun expert. So the reason Michael Moore or Stacey Abrams is overweight is because we need to ban food. Or we need to ban fast food. How stupid is that? So everybody got to get punished for, for dumbasses. No, I'm not advocating you ban food. I'm not advocating you ban guns. All I'm saying is if you if you think that banning guns is going to stop anything, banning food, certain type of food, that actually will make people eat better, right? You almost sound like Mr. Plant-Based Eater, the mayor down there in New York City. No, it doesn't stop a damn thing. Let me be clear again. I'm going to say this again and over and over again. Any 15-year-old, any 15-year-old who wants to get a gun and they got cash, they can go get a gun in any hood almost, in any one. Period. I can get a gun anytime I want to. Strict gun laws cannot stop me from owning a gun if I want to go get a gun. Just can't. All you stop is law-abiding citizens, stupid. Unless you're going to tell all the criminals to turn their gun in. They'll say, we're not going to commit robbery. We're not going to do carjacking anymore because they got good, tough gun laws. Are you stupid or what? Any drug dealer is not going to have a gun. So are you going to do away with all drugs? Because all drug dealers, all jackals got guns. It's stupidity. Mexico has six times the, the, the murder rate as America, and they got tough, restricted gun laws. You can't even hold it. It's so difficult to get a damn gun in Mexico, you wouldn't even believe it. But the drug cartel got one, and, and Eric Holder and Barack Obama saw fit that they actually kept one. So why, did, why is the left not mad at them? Because it's all BS. I'm so sick of these people with their ridiculous arguments. And I see all these funny Republicans trying to backpack. I'm not apologizing for a damn thing. This dude was a freaking lunatic who did the freaking shooting to a bunch of freaking kids. I blame his parents and those damn prescription drugs, period. Let me know what kind of prescription drugs he takes. Because I don't know if you know it or not, a lot of the anxiety medicine, you try to come off that crap, it will make you more aggressive. It's a fact. I'm not telling you what somebody told me. I'm talking about, it's a fact. Hell no, I didn't take it. I know people. And it's a fact that you come off that stuff, it makes you get more valid. That, that ADT medicine they be giving these kids, try to take them off that crap. Next thing you know, your child will be jumping on you, trying to kick your, you know what. So the government, the pharmaceutical companies, the doctors writing these damn prescriptions, parents not raising their damn kids, that's the main problem. That's the main problem. See, we went on prescription drugs, so we never tried to curse our, our parents. We went on prescription drugs. No, uh-uh. We didn't make excuses up for it. The parents didn't make excuses up for it because you got your behind whooped. Now you can't whoop your kids. It's child abuse. Oh, my God. He spanked his child. And that's what's wrong with our society. You don't discipline the child. You, 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 you're just setting them up. And I'm not saying all kids don't need the same discipline. Some kids need more whoopings than others. But I have not met another little Jesus who never needs a whooping or a spanking. Haven't met that one yet. I met some kids that's better than others, but I've never met a child that never deserved one spanking. Never. Now, you might not spank them, but they don't mean they didn't deserve a spanking. But here we are blaming, we're saying that guns are the problems, and if we can stop uh, people from buying guns, we will make America more safe. Just take your damn guns. How's that work out for Cambodia? How's that working out for Mexico? How's that working out for China? How's that working out for North Korea? Somalia. Doesn't that work very well, huh? The most dangerous people. See, the main problem with our country or every other country is these corrupt governments. The government is corrupt. They don't look out for their people. They don't. You think the left and the rest of these damn Democrats gives a damn about people being mowed down in cities? Hell no, they don't care. 